Hey there everyone, it's Joe and Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia where, where are we? <laughs> We're in the deepest, darkest regions of <laughs> yeah. Bullion now. Bro. Yeah, we're in the we're in the back, the basement. Yeah, we're down pretty in, much down in the basement. Uh, we we are unboxing something that I don't think anyone on YouTube has done yet. Hmm. Not that we can find anyway. We'll no, put it that way. What are we unboxing? We are unboxing thousand ounce bars of of silver of from Perth Mint. An actual Perth Mint thousand ounce. Bar. These are Perth Mint thousand ounce bars. That is fantastic. Let's. Uh, so now we got a bunch in. We did. Um, we had a bunch in, and that's why we're filming it out the back because we're not <laughs> lugging them out the front no. and then bringing them back out the back again. No, definitely not. Yeah. Um, and also, here's one you prepared earlier because you've had to unscrew. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit of it uh, well, because they do come very well packaged. They do, and they are a mongrel to unscrew. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, the easy part would be nicking them. The hard part's getting into the box. The easy part's not even nicking them because they're <laughs> thousand ounces. Yeah, so I mean, it's for us metric guys, that's about that's just over thirty kilos, about thirty two kilos. Yeah, good luck. Now, uh, yeah, thousand ounce bars are never exactly a thousand ounces either. Okay, um, these are industrial bars. Okay, um, so they will weigh varying sizes. Right, let's. Uh, but they're always approximately a thousand ounces. Okay. Do you want some, uh, I don't know, some unscrewing, unboxing music or something? Yeah, something? What do we reckon? Do we reckon we're all the way there? We should be, but there seems to be a bit of resistance. Okay. So, maybe I'll have an unscrew. No, that one's loose. That one's loose. That one's loose. Okay. We've got a stay. We've got a jimmy it open or something. I don't Careful. know. I haven't lost a finger yet. Yeah, Despite yet, my best efforts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you good? Maybe they glue them as well. What about the other side? Tape on the other side? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> this could be the long. This could be the longest unboxing we've ever done. Oh, and they're just so flame and heavy to try and. Yeah. This could be a reason why there's none of no unboxings on YouTube. Because <laughs> they take too long <laughs> and people get bored, and then look away. I'll actually put. Um, no joke. I will put a time code. <laughs> to the, to, honestly, I'll put a time code to the spot where we actually. Uh, uh, lift up the lid. How does that Mate, sound? your confidence in my abilities is underwhelming. I'm just suggesting it may take a little bit longer than... Okay, there's, there's something going... What are you doing there? See, this is why they reckon there's a shortage of silver over at Perth Mint. It's because all their boxes are glued so shut that no one can actually see what's inside them. Uh. <laughs> and no, I don't actually believe that before that goes viral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't... Uh... Uh, you might want to pause it there while I get a jackhammer out and yeah. get into the flaming yeah. thing. That's okay. That's, a, that's better. That's a good idea. No, it's not, because no, that's, that's a Phillips not. head. It's, no, that's not I can't get any leverage in there, and okay. I don't have a flat head with me. Okay. Um, now, out of interest, why are we getting these in in the first place? Uh, well, people want them for a start. Yeah. Um, and... Um, <laughs> You're really going to push YouTube's buttons, aren't you? Yep. Um, Why? <laughs> Perth Mint has too much silver. What? Do you, what? <laughs> what do you mean they have too much silver? Well, there's, um, they have spare thousand ounce bars kicking around because people are converting our theory. Um, again, I don't speak on behalf of Perth Mint. You have to remember when that you, at the end of said, the day. When you said our, you meant bullion now, right? Bullion now. Right. Just, um, to, just to, so everyone does know, you have, we have zero affiliation with them. No, we sell their product. We sell their um, product, but we, we don't have a partnership. There's no, nah. there's no backroom deals. There's no nothing. We're just, a, we're, 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 we are a um, buyer. That's it. We're a customer of theirs. We just, so, have, we just happen to buy a lot of it. Yeah. So when people um, cash in, they're unallocated. They're unallocated over at Perth Mint is backed by thousand ounce bars. Yep. So if you get a lot of people. Um, Wanting to cash in, they're uh, they're unallocated. Yep. They end up with thousand ounce bars that uh, they no longer need. Oh. So they can either use them for production, yep. um, melt them down, turn them into coins or bars or whatever they want to do. So people cashing in their unallocated is, a, is actually a good thing for stock. Well, for stock That's levels, it. absolutely it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, the other thing that people kind of don't realise is when you cash in your unallocated, mm. you're actually causing the Perth Mint to go long, so they release their excess product onto the market, yep. 
and it's a basic supply and demand. So that will actually drive the price on the world market because Perth Mint are slightly larger than us. Yeah. Um, and obviously they're not the only refinery that does this sort of stuff, but they'll release their excess stock yep. onto the world market, which basic supply and demand. So now there's more supply on the market than there is demand. Right. And um, so it'll reduce the price. Oh, there you go. All right, time code. If you just clicked on the time code, <laughs> we got it open. That took about oh, was that twenty minutes? <laughs> yeah. Look at this so, baby. That's a thousand ounce, but I'm going to wreck the box doing this. Yeah, but I just have to do it. So you can see there. Ah. All right, I'm going to lift it up and put it on the table. Oh please, watch your back, please. Bend with the knees. Whoa. Oh, dude. All right, so. Dude. There you go, this one's 993.9 ounces. So like I said, they're not ever exactly, a th they're very rarely exactly a thousand ounces. Look at that. Usually a bit over, a bit under. Then it's got a, a coating on it that'll be, uh, you know, whatever serial number yep. in their records. Yep. Um, Perth Meat stamp on it. Beautiful. And then three nines. And you'll find industrial silver is always stamped, and someone will prove me wrong with one, but as a rule, they're always stamped with uh, three nines, not four nines. Even though they might be four nines. If we ran the XRF over this, it'd come up as four nines. Yep. Okay. That is wicked. Beasty. Look at it. That is so cool. Do me a favour. Try and get a little bit of light over the top. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I can do it right there. Yeah. I think I have the Perth Minister. I have never seen a one thousand ounce Perth Min bar. Look how chunky this bad boy is. We've done thousand ounces before. Yeah, but not a not, not a, a perth mint. No. no, not a perth mint. No, not a perth mint. No. So. These are wicked. They ass. are. They're industrial. Yeah. Um, like I said, um, so they're the sort sort of thing that all refineries get um, into stock and melt them down into all sorts of other things. Yep. Beautiful. You can go all the way over if you want. Well, if you can get it back over again, that's fine. Mm. Oh, look, just a little bit bubbling on the back and. All that stuff, that is great. Can you flip it right back over to the... Great doorstop. If you're great looking for a doorstop. doorstop. Yeah. You know, not a bad story. Uh, no, not that we should give storage, not that we do give storage advice in terms of where you should store it in your own house, but tell you what, a giant doorstop, yeah. painted. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's not right. a bad painted idea. White. Painted um, black. But that's they're so good, cool. even from an investment perspective. <laughs> yeah. You don't pay a heck of a lot over, over spot price for it. Um, you know, it's not a one ounce coin or anything like that where you're playing... You know, eight, ten, fifteen, even twenty dollars an ounce over spot. Yeah, you're paying far less in this case. And they also, I mean, these ones are brand new at Perth Mint, so they come in these trendy little boxes. Yep. Um, you know, that's a great way to store them as well. And also, you can also, and also, you can also, also, you could buy one from us and just have it stored with us. No, oh, yeah, you can yeah. absolutely do that. We can arrange that. You don't have to um, take it home. Yeah. So, question some, is, so question is, are some of these or any of these actually available for sale right now? Um, there will be a couple that we'll, we'll put up on the website. Okay. Um, we'll put one up on the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're, if you're seriously interested in them, um, you know, give us a call, 1300 84 84 10, come by the store, yep. level 6, 227 Collins Street. Yep. Email us, sales at bullynow.com.au. Because each of them, um, like I said, none of them are exactly a thousand ounces. So you're going to find that, you know, the invoices need to be updated and we need to actually work out which one you're having and all that sort of stuff. So, gotcha. um, but definitely, it's a good cheap way to buy silver. Um, and we use them ourselves to back um, our unallocated program as well. Because all of our unallocated is backed one-to-one -one with... Oh, absolutely. With, for, with uh, real physical metal. Yeah. Yeah, so... Anyway, that's just a, just a curiosity thing, so you can. Beautiful. A lot of people haven't seen them before or how well, they come. And again, this, stuff. this literally might be the first look on YouTube uh, at a Perth Mint 1,000 1, ounce uh, silver bar, I should say. Thank you for uh, uh, your efforts. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. We, got, we, we did get there in the we end. We did though. get there in yeah. the end. All right, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, that's it from me. And from me too. See you soon. See ya.